War Pugs. So, our favorite T Rex from the Discord wanted me to check out the psychopathic, thick hunting habits of Satan's favorite birds. Now, there are a lot of birds that I've learned about from Casual Geographic and just being a nature guy myself. Um, that quite frankly just disturb me, like the way that buzzards and vultures and kestrels eat. And um, no, I I don't even want to deal with uh, some of those. Uh, no, just God no. War pugs. Um, some things are better left unsaid and unimagined. Today, though, Casual Geographic is going to take us down another tour. This is the first, like I after I sh after I started checking out things for Casual Geographic. This is the first request that's actually come through for Casual Geographic. But I can't imagine a better first request than psychotic pigeons. Let's go, War Pugs. All of Casual Geographic's links are going to be in the description down below, right next to my own, right next to Patreon, merch store, all that kind of stuff. Let's get right into it. <laughs> you see this nest? You want to know what built this nest? No. You want to know what built this nest? No. You want to know what made these bones? You don't want to know what made these... Yay! Hell no! This bird's a buck be coded f me to my mental stability. <laughs> Harpy equals a homicidal hippogriff with the jungle census on its hit list. And a big reason is Harpy's having the largest <coughs> of the bird. Not only do they have vice grip talons that could comfortably dap up a grizzly bear's paws, they say getting gripped by them is like getting caught in a Rottweiler's jaws. They're the national bird of Panama, but you fit to be Panamiming once this Jurassic reject takes your breath by crushing your windpipe. But by far the most out-of-pocket thing is what nature went ahead and did with their wings. Unlike most birds its size, harpy eagles have relatively short wings. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about if eagles were the NBA, this would be their build. But the short wings just means this life unsubscription service can duck and weave through the dense jungle to catch a body. Which also means there are very few things alive in the Amazon that a hunting harpy can't pack up, from monkeys and sloths, to armadillos, snakes, and porcupines, to other predators like ocelots and foxes. They'll also body other birds like parrots, and they'll even murk other rats Raptors like vultures. Okay. Then, what even is a raptor? The answer might just surprise you. Raptors are what most people might call birds of prey, which mm -hmm. is already a problem because there's plenty of other birds that'll have you praying. So the raptor title gets <laughs> kept to the birds with all three. A sharp hooked beak, a Jurassic style pedicure in talons, and an OP sense of sight. So without a hooked beak but webbed feet, the demonic garbage chute misses the cut. Chronic crash out the Canada goose doesn't sit at the raptor lunch table because if it did, it probably would have seen that coming. Oh. But the whole raptor thing's a pain in the prostate and it's because raptors, they're, they're basically cats that can fly. You remember the cat video I made and how right. insanely convoluted the names got? Like how a black panther isn't actually an animal, a cat called a panther isn't actually a panther, a snow leopard is genetically closer to a tiger, yeah. and how a cougar pushing 220 ain't a big cat, but a cat barely a buck 10 is. Raptors are low-key the same, where the name raptor doesn't describe a family or union, but like black panther, raptor is more like a description. Mm -hmm. But I'ma get to that. Now the other problem with raptors is that nature basically bamboozled them. Of course the ability to fly is broken, but it comes with hollow bones. True. Now hollow bones aren't to keep the bird light enough for flight, it's more that pneumatic bones are filled with air and so give extra oxygen to fuel their flight. But it also means a broken bone is a career ending injury for an avian, and as hunters, they're under risk of getting folded by their own prey. The compromise is, raptors have some of the most heinously creative ways of confiscating consciousness, revoking your existence. Whatever you want to call it, the bird of prey hunting strat is straight out of the pages of a mob boss's torture diary. <laughs> you can start with the secretary bird, aka Jurassic Park in yoga pants, named after the fact that, like a secretary, they'll connect you to the big boss upstairs if you give them the chance. <laughs> Cancel prey by kicking them in the head until they flatline or just lie flat, and their usual targets are snakes. The combo of delivering multiple kicks in a time it takes to blink, and how disrespectfully accurate they are, all adds up to a six piece serpent assault where they spam. Oh my god, I know about the secretary, but I've never seen one actually doing his thing. I've always just seen pictures of them, never seen video. I'm a river dance on the snake's skull until it caves in, leaving the snake out of order like a reptile dysfunction. You gotta hand it to them, that's pretty metal. Actually, you should do the opposite, True. since the kung fu crane can apparently shatter the bones in a human hand. And it's not just snakes, secretaries will go after things like cheetah cubs and baby gazelle. I think now is a good time to mention they can be an honest four feet tall, with a thigh gap no less, as you can see they're liable to violate snakes and beauty standards. All while being one of the few birds with two pairs of wings, no Red Bull. This high-stepping really? battery charge 
charges with all the smoke, literally, because they'll gather around brush fires just for the opportunity to murk any small animal running for its life. <laughs> don't let the pretty privilege distract you. It's an African assassin chicken in thigh boots dressed like a recently divorced mother of three. And they're not the only ones, because I'll be honest. <laughs> I low-key forgot this bird existed. This is a Sariyama. Okay. It's basically a Latin secretary bird, but the real family tree reflex is they're the only living relatives of terror birds. Yes, those terror birds. At some point, I've got to talk to you guys about terror birds because, my God. <clears throat> this thing was a six to eight foot tall, like, depending on the species, was a six to eight foot tall massive flightless bird and I'm worried enough about ostriches just kicking my thigh I don't want to think about something that made a career out of running things down and beating them to death with its beak I just no they might be less vertically gifted at less than two feet tall, but instead of kicking, Teriyama's rather body slam their prey to death. Really? The dinosaur time forgot will grab prey and slam them into the ground or against a rock repeatedly. They'll spam suplex as many times as it takes for the bones to break. And if you're too big for all that, they'll use the same sickle claw their prehistoric cousins use to hold down prey and disembowel it alive. So if you get targeted by a Teriyama, you'll either get the Hulk to Loki treatment except <laughs> from a travel-sized terror turkey, eviscerated and violated while pinned by a weaponized toenail, or just swallow clean like a vorophile's wet dream. Ugh. So far, we have a curb stomping aggro bird and a mob boss build and terror bird final form. <laughs> and we're just getting started. Let's go. This is a kite, and before you ask, yes. this was named after the bird, not the other way around. A kite is like the forgotten little brother of eagles and hawks, and like a kite, they catch bodies by hovering above the ground and waiting for movement so they can swoop down and snatch it. I believe kiting is the expression. They're pretty cool. They grief many of the insects that make life slightly less worth living. The 17th okay. year cicada parade is basically their Super Bowl. Like the secretary bird they too will gather around grass fires and any animal trying to run from the smoke gets ironically cooked but australian <laughs> black kites take it a step felony by carrying burning twigs and dropping them on <laughs> step felony patches of grass an act of avian arson that got them another name firehawks apparently this is nothing new with records of them stealing brands from indigenous cooking fires and dropping them half a mile away there have even been scientific records of them dropping bread into water to bait small fish and if it wasn't for this clip I probably wouldn't believe it. You'd think an aerial arsonist airdropping Inferno in a country that has up to 60,000 wildfires a year would immediately get blacklisted. But no, black kites are protected because once again, of course a felon with wings is above the law. Right. Also banned in Boston, but only because we all know Boston can't stand the heat. Now Ooh. I have a whole video on owls, so I'm not going to talk too much about that. Which we just saw. This is the start of what I was talking about because you'd normally expect a raptor to be related to other raptors. Instead, the owl's closest relative looks like a Muppet flashlight. <laughs> flashlight? What does that? Oh! Oh. Owls are predators on incognito, thanks to feathers that allow them to fly almost completely silently. Again, you don't realize how unsettling that is till you go to bed a family and wake up a single mother. They also have a satellite <laughs> dish for a face and uneven ears, so even under a foot of snow, they can hear exactly where you're about to go. Owls are 100% the closest thing to cryptids with wings, and while they haven't murked people, allegedly, there's plenty of predators that allegedly. you feed off unsuspecting humans, just like you, including arguably the worst predator of all. Data brokers. There's a lot of data brokers that feed themselves by collecting your personal information and selling it to the highest bidder. And Don't let owls do this to you. They are the closest things to the A's that we have. It's deeper than selling your browser history to companies wanting to know what to sell you back. Some insurance companies will team up with brokers and actually raise your rates based on what you put out online. Cyber criminals can steal personal info like your social security from a broker. And if you've ever gotten one of those robocalls, I think you know who slid them your number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the owls don't seem so bad now. Now you can email takedown requests to these sites with your info, but one, there's just way too many and you will get yeah. overwhelmed. Two, I don't have a real job and I don't have time for that, so I know you don't. But three, even if you run the gauntlet in a week, it won't matter because it'll probably be back up there. Mm -hmm. You're up against a predator that plots incognito. So it's only right that you defend yourself with incognito. Because incognito will scan the recesses of the internet for your personals and submit takedowns on your behalf. Yeah, if a go. company pushes back and refuses because honestly why wouldn't they incogni won't let up and they'll keep checking to make sure you don't get put back in the system nice. now, assuming you survive the aneurysm of finding out just how many people have your information you can rest easy knowing incogni basically puts you on a whitelist against predatory <coughs> the number of victims of data breaches has gone up over 40 percent in the last few years and if you don't want to be a statistic make sure you go to incogni.com slash casual geo and use the code casual geo for 60 percent off an annual plan to guard your private data nice believe me if you knew some of the places your info is right now your head would spin kind of like wait for it
Yeah, there it is. Oh. That's what it looks like to get folded by a falcon. You see, falcons are cool, but they're weak. That one video alone was enough to make me glad never to be a bird. Bigger than eagles and hawks, so instead they commit to the fastest hitting runs on Earth. Ooh. Literally, the fastest. So falcons like the peregrine will start up high and dive, that's called the stoop, and once the flying to ratio hits triple digit miles per hour, they'll ball up their feet like a fist. So yeah, they really do falcon punch their prey into past tense, <laughs> they didn't even give them time to duck. Not only that, but falcons also have a toe mule tooth made specifically to snap spinal cords and send prey to the lord like Sunday service, all while flying. The one shot specialist has been known to snipe bald and golden eagles Oh my god. Nest. And there was one time a snowy owl murked a falcon fledgling, so the mother falcon went and life deprived the owl. There's a lot of ways falcons are built for speed, but the biggest flex is that they have the fastest processing speed of any animal alive. Compared to us, they see the world in slow motion. Falcons huh. are dope, but because of them, we have to address the whole raptor thing again. Because instead of hawks, eagles, or any other bird of prey, the missile with wings is most related to parrots. Really? So again, raptors in a family name, most of them aren't even closely related. But there are a lot of falcons, like the American kestrel. I like them because they're pretty. They are. Small. The Ooh. colorway ain't bad either. They also factory reset prey by stabbing them in the back of the head with that tooth, but you can't deny this psychopath's cute. The black thigh falconet is the smallest bird of prey in the weight class of a sparrow, yet they also find a way to pack up other birds. The pygmy falcon is a nest pirate that often Aww. shacks up in the homes of weed. Look at his little face. Beaver birds. Normally it's a good gig with the pygmies clearing out snakes and lizards, but sometimes they'll switch up and kill their weaver bird roommates, so there's that. But there's another falcon that might just be the biggest bird off of all, and it might also be the most underrated. Next okay. to that is the Kara Kara. The Kara Kara is a black Air Force parrot. Unlike every other falcon, <laughs> they'd rather handle business on the ground. They live on honey badger timings, and still pull up to a carcass and bully bigger vultures out the way. The crested Kara Kara is a special kind of klepto. They'll straight up mob other birds like pelicans and press them into vomiting their lunch so they can have it. Striding yeah. Kara Karas and the Falklands are a Pennywise level threat to minor safety. <laughs> no raptor comes from the Latin word to seize or take by force. That's what this avian amber alert lives by. Kara Karas <laughs> also link up with each other and form gangs and have honest to god turf wars. Even back in the day they were on Darwin's radar. In 1830 he mentioned how curious they were, but also how annoying it was to live around a bird that'll steal anything that isn't nailed down. <laughs> Turns out this affiliated delinquent of a bird is low-key the <coughs> student of the raptor class and is even smart enough to solve puzzles for fun. Basically Kara Kara's are if the parakeet falcon and the secretary bird had a baby, but it was adopted and raised by crows and tutored by the key on weekends. Just an overall underrated menace of a dinosaur, but also a hyper intelligent talented opportunist. Actually I take that back, vultures might be the most underrated. People assume something with the feeding habits of a casket is a pushover, and they do get their cookies taken by other raptors. But vultures very much can be about that life too. Especially since black vultures often won't wait for an animal to expire. They'll put weak, sick, or young- mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I know where he's about to go with this, and I don't want to go there, but we're going there. Young animals on a shirt. Some farmers know all too well. Sometimes they'll wait for a cow to give birth just to jump the newborn and return to sender. Sometimes they won't even wait, and they'll move on a cow in labor and act like the world's most malicious midwives. Getting violated by vultures means eyes gouged out, tongue torn off, and they'll even break through the back door. Basically the booty warrior of birds, but unlike uh. ducks, this one's protected by law. From a surgical psychopath to a scavenger scavenger. Yet a bearded vulture eats almost nothing but bones, and they've even been known to swallow ones nearly a foot long. But once in a while they'll go after the living, sometimes in the form of air dropping a tortoise hundreds of feet to feed on the insides like a pinata. You know, what? Farmers were so spiritually disturbed by the beardy, they called it the bird of Satan. To be fair, they have a square ring around their eyes that fills with blood when stressed and makes their eyes turn bloodshot when running a fade. Huh. Grim Reaper's working with a whole showering gun activated. I don't blame him. That is demonic character design. It does. Also, it is. Vulture allegedly marked a man with a turtle shell to the head like Mario Kart, which <laughs> sounds fake, but keep in mind, there's a woman walking around with scars from breaking oh. a porcupine's fall. RNG can be a real ass. Aw, oh, that, and you still can't show me a bird with the Harpy Eagle's aura. We no. already mentioned a life canceling claws that could probably crush your skull, which is why Harpy Eagles have a prey list of over 116 species. And that includes putting other raptors like Sariyamas and vultures on shirts. But don't think for one second nature came out with this and stopped there. The African crown. The eagle is basically the harpy of the motherland. Same survival revoking claws, and same short wings to make it a menace to monkey kind. And they're the only raptor to allegedly see people as prey, with reports of human child remains in nests, and the infamous tongue child believed to have been packed up by an African crown. Oh, wow. Honestly, any continent outside of penguin land has at least one of these eagles. Austra <sighs> eagles, falcons, that's the only bird I'd ever want to come back as. 
barely in wedge tails go after kangaroos and dingoes and their territory yeah. enough to fade a thousand dollar drone on site nice one time a wedgie fought a helicopter and won past sensing a pilot in the process r.i.p the north american what? golden eagle has a hit list of prey in the 400s but really their claim to fame is how they'll give goats a first class flight to the gulag with no return trip yeah I'm sorry this is so disrespectful look at this animation he gave him an NPC death, gave him nothing but time to reflect. There's the Philippine Eagle, which honestly mogs the f out of everyone for no reason. But there might not be a bigger flex than the Stellar Sea Eagle. You know, if this wasn't on camera, nobody'd ever believe you. It's one of the heaviest eagles on Earth with an 8 foot wingspan. It's an oppressive force in Featherface that's apparently been seen carting off seals. Clearly, huh. the meteor told them to take a sick day, because, dog, you're not telling me that's not a dinosaur. <laughs> Loki, they might go the same way. For all the harpy hate I was talking, there's no recorded case of a harpy eagle killing or even a Attacking a human. In fact, it's them not being afraid of humans that can get them put on a shirt by poachers. Add habitat destruction, and if raptors like them aren't in danger, they're at least in danger of being endangered. Which is why you got places like the Raptor Trust in Millington, New Jersey, looking after all kinds of birds from Ollie the Kestrel to Virgil the Turkey Vulture. They got couples too, like Mariah and Thor the Golden Eagles. They're mad cute together. And of course, the symbol of America, Colonel and Uno. Uno because of the whole one wing thing. And even though they're technically Ooh, wow. not raptors, I even met Ray the Raven. You know it's crazy? He's in a cage, and he's in a relationship with another wild raven. Like, he'll even sneak food between the bars of his cage for her. You know what's crazier? <laughs> his girl has a whole nother family in the wild. I usually don't rock with home records, but I'm rocking with Ray. But like I said, my favorites were definitely the owls, especially this barred owl named Sonny. I think he liked me. Although the vulture's gotta be a close second since they'll literally walk up and follow you around like a puppy. Oh, this isn't sponsored by the way. I just had a good time and wanted to shout them out. Oh, so good. If you're in the area, the Raptor Trust in Millington, New Jersey, 100% recommend it. But that's gonna do it for this video. Drink water, hug your mother, Don't forget that. Shout out to Incogni for sponsoring this video. Shout out to good the Pigeon Paralysis Demon for sponsoring Imagination. And I'ma see y'all <laughs> in the next one. Little cheeky. <laughs> That cat don't even care. And that bird's just realizing it. <laughs> More pugs. I might be able to go up there. I might be able to go up to the to that wildlife preserve. I might be able to go up and see those birds. That would be kind of awesome. That would be fun. Um More pugs. There's a lot of stuff I want to do in the future. There's a lot of stuff I want to do in the future. And I can't wait to have the opportunity to do it. So, all I can think about is one of these days I'm going to be able to go out and do some of this stuff that I've been wanting to do for so long. I can't wait to move at this point. I just, like, I'm, I'm literally buzzing right now. Until then, though, thank you for joining me for this. Uh, much appreciated for everybody that sits down and just spends some time with the old man. All of Casual Geographic links in the description below. Please remember to subscribe. Subscribe to Casual Geographic if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys next time. More pugs. The bird is the bird.